Charlie All Kirk, right. an audience member, asked him a question here about what to do about the opioid crises and the housing crises here in the United States. And Charlie Kirk has a theory about one's political affiliation as it relates to the height of your building and or apartment. <laughs> Kill 198,000 people. We collected 12,000 pounds at the southern border. We are the Colorado is the second uh, hard, uh, highest state for um, drug overdoses from fentanyl, and we have a uh, 57 state Democrats just passed the most expansive yep. abortion bill in the country, allowing us to abort a baby right up until like one minute before they're born. Not true. I'm discouraged. You talked about the three things we yeah, need question. to do. Please sorry, sorry. Down. How do we make, um, how can I have an impact against these kind of odds? And how do we make housing affordable when it's already gone past some crazy right, Two time? questions. Okay, housing affordable, you got to wage war against the environmentalists because you're not able to build enough homes. I guarantee you that's happening in Denver. It's absolutely happening in California, and it's happening in Arizona. The environmentalists want to have less new development because they think it, you know, disenfranchises some weird bird no one's ever heard of, right? And so we need we need to build more homes, and we have to build them quickly. And we I, and I, I mean, we have a huge housing crisis in our country, the likes of which we have not seen in a long period of time. Hold on, but hold on. I that's, believe that that's, we need to build. That's new to me. Leftists yeah. don't want more housing. They they seem like they advocate a lot for more affordable housing uh, quite often. What the hell is he talking about? Yeah, this is a very old fashioned like view of the politics of it. But um, the idea that like some sort of environmental uh, uh, um, thing is standing in the way of building more housing as opposed to, oh, actually, the people that are would be empowered to build housing uh, aren't incentivized to build housing because the la lack of demand is leading to them getting huge profits on the, pro the housing that they already own and don't need to build more And of. the private equity groups that have bought up a bunch of homes and driven up the prices artificially, creating a bubble that will eventually burst. Uh, that's part of it. Which the is interesting because Kirk and like uh, Candace Owens will occasionally do anti-BlackRock stuff, but the Apparently he forgot about that and went back to the hmm. environmentalist this time. Yeah, uh, but but keep going because we're about to get to his uh, galaxy brain theory. The left is interested in regulating those private equity firms, by the way, not the right. Or uh, liquidating them entirely. <laughs> yes, and also uh, building more uh, affordable housing, which would drive down prices in general. Here we go. We have to build them quickly, and we I, and I, I mean, we have a huge housing crisis in our country, the likes of which we have not seen in a long period of time. But I believe that we need to build horizontally, not vertically. That's one of my speeches. Developers don't like it when I say this, but it's true. The higher the building, the more liberal the voter. It just is. So, and if if you are the closer to the ground you are, the more conservative you are. We should we should encourage people to spread horizontally and not vertically. Look at Denver. The higher the high rises, has Denver become less free? or more free. It's become a dystopian nightmare. You guys know that. Now you might say, Charlie, that's a correlation of the causation. Think about it. Yes. If you're on the 32nd floor renting, not owning, if you're not in the weeds and in the yard and understanding what it takes to grow food and to maintain the land, are you gonna be more or less likely to actually be a conservative? The higher the building, every single study shows they become more liberal over time. It's happening in Phoenix, happened in Denver, happened in Atlanta, happened <laughs> in Dallas, happened in Chicago, happened everywhere, and yet few people actually say that out loud. Whatever. Okay, that was housing. Fentanyl, look, there's... All right, that, that's because it's dumb, and it is correlation and causation. Higher buildings are in cities. That's where more liberals are. No, it's because higher buildings are more phallic, and so living in them feminizes <laughs> you inherently. You know, Charlie Kirk doesn't have the courage to say what I have, you know, the courage I have to to say what I'm going to say, which is that, like, living in a tall building is inherently feminizing and therefore mm -hmm. makes you a liberal voter. I mean, I think he has a point, but I think he's taking the wrong thing out of it. Um, leftists live in higher, you know, buildings that go up vertically uh, because it gets them closer to God. And we hear God's message better. And that's where our priorities come from. We actually are the ones spreading God's word when we say what we say to uh, support our policies and ideologies. Yeah, why hmm, does that, Charlie Kirk want conservatives to be closer to hell? It, it, it's, that, it's that's funny. fake. That's fake news because you guys are forgetting the morality tale of the Tower of Bible of, of Babel, you know. So a lot of you guys are right. just like you're trying to lead our viewers astray off the path of the righteous and you know, aka the suburbs. I mean, I think probably the thing to demystify this for Charlie a little bit, if he wanted to understand what the mechanism at play here is, is that uh, when you have places of high density versus, say, uh, low density, what 
is often happening in the low density is that those are property owners <laughs> and uh, that is why they're more conservative uh, yes and because they're not renting apartments he did uh, say renters there right so and, he, he got close to it right and like but i will say like that's not uh, an immutable uh uh sort of law because if you look at any sort of a uh, uh sort of settlement of this country when you started settling like people onto the land to farm it you very quickly had agrarian mo populist movements that were upset um, even though they were very low to the ground and very sort of uh concerned with how to grow food out of it uh they were also very concerned with um getting their food to market and stuff like that so they ended up getting very anti uh finance and uh and monopoly uh so i don't think that it's really necessarily how close you are to uh the ground or not he's also claiming that they're you know doing their own farm work as he's talking about the suburbs essentially here yeah exactly and, and i i was unaware that the the there's a cause causative causative causation whatever uh element when it comes to the higher the buildings because that's that the, now that you think about it that's why dubai is the most liberal place in the world yeah exactly in, in I, I was also surprised that there is like a dramatic lack of housing specifically lack of suburbs in places like arizona because i was under the impression that there had been you know huge swaths of suburbia built like pre-2008 as speculative vehicles only to find out that mm -hmm. people didn't actually want to live in those communities because they were so like arid and away from like actual, you know, amenities that people need, which kind of compounds the whole gas crisis people are having on the right yes. as well. Yeah, I think, I mean, that stuff is like where this gets serious and like we should be uh, taking the opposite position of Charlie and saying build higher, more density um, for the, cli the climate reasons in general. Like that, this desire to build horizontally is a subsidy to the fossil fuel <laughs> industry and automobile industries and whatever like um, other industries we've, we've sort of been subsidizing through uh really like i mean lawns are I, as somebody who mowed lawns growing up like that whole thing like yeah, is, why, it's speaking of arizona of why like are that. there lawns in arizona it's grow it's grotesque to see like um a, a lawn in a place like arizona and i think even like in a place your mic's like, off oh my mic oh we just went off for a second oh um even in a place like north dakota um i think we should just be i don't know not wasting water on stuff like that yeah, I guess Charlie Kirk really loves ranch, the ranch style of home. Big King of Hill fan. I can't blame him. It's a great show, but you know, <laughs> still, we, we can't all live on one level. Uh, no stairs. It's liberal tyranny. That's a no. That's a big thing on uh, House Hunters International. Like no stairs. If it's a three floor walk up, people are not doing it. Uh, mud spots. Charlie Kirk, the low spark of jack booted bo boys. Um, I don't even get that. The low spark? Low spark, yeah. Chris Burdick, Charlie Kirk's right. I mean, look at the bleeding heart liberal who owns Trump Tower. All right, oh. yeah, there you go. Yeah, I, I do think if you went into the uh, tallest buildings in New York and pulled the um, the people who were living there, one, you'd find a lot of people aren't living there and they are just special right. assets. Um, <laughs> and if you pulled them, I think you'd find the people that are holding those respective assets. The people assets, that are highest up. Yeah, are, rather, yeah, they'd rather agree with Charlie on a lot of these particularly economic policies. You know who else I, I, hates I, tall buildings? The Taliban. Right. Right. Yeah. Charlie's really, thinking about that. Really makes you think. It does. Yeah. Maybe he and Mel looking bin Laden. I was looking recently at this like Zillow listing for one of the uh, the floors on that new really tall pencil tower on Billionaire Row in Manhattan, yeah. and I hate it that was building. Yeah, yes, it's it's ugly as hell. Uh, also, it sways in the wind uh, because oh. yes, people who actually live in similar buildings which aren't as thin and high as as that one have said like complain that the building uh, sways and. They hear creaks and, and noise all the time at night when it's windy. Yeah, um, yeah that, that doesn't sound safe. But anyway, this listing I saw was something like four-bedroom apartment with 10 bathrooms. What does mm -hmm. that tell you? Uh, it tells me that they're not living there. They're using it for like the soirees they they uh, have when they like are in town for like a week yeah. out of the year or something like that. Because, you know, who needs 10 bathrooms, especially when there's only four bedrooms? That if you expect me... 
if you expect me or anybody else to get dressed, bathe, uh, pee and poop in the same bathroom, then I think that you're just being, you know, a classic liberal wanting us all like, to share each other's toothbrush. And that's what communism is. Because I, I know that for every person you have in a house, you need at least three bathrooms. It's sexual another promiscuity. House hunters, they're, another they're, house hunter's they're peepers. Lesson. Go on. No, I was gonna say, that's just another lesson from house hunters. More bathrooms, the better. You're making me want to watch house hunters. Honestly. You should. Yeah, it teaches should. you a lot about middle America.